guys, this is Pa here, and welcome back to Game of Thrones, the Telltale series. We are continuing episode one, and uh, here we are. We are heading down this uh, lonely road, meeting a nice pig. Hello, Mr. Piggy. <laughs> and uh, yes, episode uh, part one of episode one, which we did last time, of course, was a very eventful. We were at the Red Wedding, if you have seen the, uh, the Game of Thrones series. Or read the books. Um, so yes, hello pig. We're just uh, having a wander around here. <laughs> oh, what's this on the floor? We've got some. Ooh, blood. A trail of blood. Oh. Fresh. So yeah, we escaped from the red wedding, of course, when all of the uh, our Lord for Lord Forester's army, which we were a part of, got attacked. Oh, we've got a. Is this a dead pig? Nice. Why do we have a dead pig? I mean, pigs do die, you know, it's not it's not uncommon. <laughs> but, uh, we shall see. Ooh, some smoke. Is that, a, is that a fire summit burning? As in, like, a house or something like that? Okay, so we've got a, a wagon over here. Hmm. I like the graphics on this as well. They're not, uh, well, you know, it's, it's kind of typical Telltale, excluding kind of Minecraft story mode, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty, really, pretty cool. All the character kind of faces, they always have that kind of same kind of style. That's Father's Cart. Father's Cart. And I like the fact that this is sort of taking place at the same time. Lord Bolton. Okay. Oh, right, so there's someone here. Oh, we've got some guys. Yeah, I like the fact that this is taking this... Uh, it's it's going at the same time as the main, like, uh, story, rather than something completely separate, you know, set before or, or I don't know, thousands of years in the past or something like that. Wrong, oh. boy. There's nothing for you here. So who are these guys, then? Father. I said move on. Unless Get you to your father. It's my, fa my father. I recognise you. You're a forester, squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that? Not all of them, but most of them. We know this <laughs> from the story. The chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. How do you um, I killed a man for it. Do we say that? I killed a man. Um, none of your business. None of your fucking business. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna so yes, this game does feature place. some strong language. <laughs> that sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get. It is like a um, what's it called? Is it a great sword? One where it's like a two-handed one, or a long sword, or something like that. I can't actually remember. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. We know how to use this thing. <laughs> No. I'll have that sword, boy. Over my dead body. <laughs> uh, I, you'll have it. <laughs> We're gonna say that. You'll have it. Oh. Um, we don't have a sword. Oh, we've got a pitchfork. <laughs> pitchfork or... Oh. Take the axe. In his head. Oh. His, his face said he looked very surprised. He's like, oh, I managed to do it. <laughs> Grab the sword. Oh, no! Didn't see that come in. <laughs> that must sting a little. Oh, do we have mercy? Do we give mercy or not? 
never survive without me. This is Game of Thrones. Move. This is Game of Thrones. We're not merciful. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Game of Thrones. It's not Batman. We show we showed a lot of mercy in Batman. I promise. Say, this is Game of Thrones. Basically, you either win. <laughs> what was the what was the line in the Game of Thrones? If you play the Game of Thrones, you either win or you die. Simple. Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. She hid. Looks like we're going to uh, find our sister then, wherever she's gone. I tried to stop them. We know you did, Father. No! Obviously, it's sad that his father has died, but for us, I'll as players and watchers, we didn't really know the man. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we haven't become attached to him. I'm sure there's going to be players that we come attached to throughout the story, though. Iron Wrath. Stronghold, stronghold of House Forester. So this is good because, I say, although it's taking place at the same time as the main story, there's, we're seeing places that we haven't seen, that I haven't seen in the series uh, yet. Garrod. Tell him his nephew survived. Um, so yeah, it's cool. I'm sure we're going to be visiting places that we all know and love. I'm sure we're going to go to King's Landing and probably Winterfell and Castle Rock or wherever. There's going to be well, there's six episodes altogether. Um, there's going to be a lot of story to cover. Bring the maester. Meet us in the Great Hall. Quickly. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. The Boltons. They my family. And the ones what? who uh, joined up with the Freys to she... betray the Starks she was only and the Northerners. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. So yes. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. I hope so. <laughs> I love that. I should be able to save your leg. <laughs> Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say. I, uh, I had a choice. I'd do it again. It was justice. Uh, it, was justice. it was justice. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. That's it. People start killing innocent people and whatnot. They're gonna, they're gonna be punished. Justice will be served. Ooh, that looks a bit. Ooh, ouch! What is that? Oh, it's maggots. Oh yeah. Ugh, that's horrible though. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, the maggots are gonna eat all the like the rotten and dead flesh and bleh, bleh. <laughs> bit gross. Uh, we can avenge them. Our house will never. Our house will never fall. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house. If I can do anything about it, <laughs> although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Yeah. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. He did indeed. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good um... as any man I've seen. Unfortunate that's not what happened. The there was nothing we could do. Uh, that's not what happened. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Mm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Yeah. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. He seemed like a very good man. First, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Yeah, we seem fine. <laughs> Go on. 
Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Good as new. Let's have a, let's have a walk around then. Oh, get that leg working again. <laughs> the Lord's chair. Oh, let's look at the Lord's chair, I guess. <laughs> You know, we have to walk all the way around. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. <laughs> Look at the window. <laughs> the Ironwood Grove. Ironwood Grove. I like they've got the kind of like, uh, uh, because obviously, um, like the the. I guess like uh, Game of Thrones, it's all kind of set in, even though it's not England, it's very English. All the people, like the different kind of places, they seem to represent different places. Like, for example, King's Landing is very, you know, representative of of kind of London. And then you've got kind of, um, like, I guess the north areas would be like kind of Scotland, I'd say, more than likely. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you've got all these kind of things. They're all got these kind of like accents, which are very English, very uh, kind of ma mainly sort of Yorkshire accents. If you're from outside of the um, UK, uh, Yorkshire has got a you know, it's got a very very uh, <laughs> uh, very distinctive tone. It's kind of like you know, it's like Yorkshire. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So let's uh, look at the medical supplies. Why would we touch that? Okay, touch the bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, why do we want to look at it then? Oh, what we've got here? We've got some bandages, healing herbs. I guess we pick up those. They could come in handy. Let's take the bandages as well. This might help. Yeah, I'm sure it will if we get injured. We'll try our best not to be injured. So, here we go. We can actually look through the uh, hmm. things. You seem to be favouring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mr. Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Are we going this way? Let's, uh, I guess we'll just talk to, show sword to, uh, talk to, we'll show the sword to, I guess, Does afterwards. Feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Can I leave now? Why do the, uh, who is the new lord? Who is the new lord? The new lord of House Forrester. Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel. I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn. Yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Okay, yeah. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. <laughs> um, so, why do the White Hills hate us? Why do the White us? Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. That's normally how it goes. It's pretty much how World War One started. <laughs> um, the White Hills, yeah, want so that one. To Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. What will, what will become of me? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord hmm. Foster me. At the twins, I, I'm no longer a squire. If that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Whether he'll believe us or not, I'm not too sure. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um can I, can I leave now? now? 
I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you. Thank lady. you very much. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... It is true. I'm so sorry. Nato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He loved this family. He loved his family, my lady. He was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure... Uh, he fought valiantly. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told, I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, I was. Lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he? Uh, passed, if you can remember. It oh would no, mean no, so no. Much to the family. The... He mentioned something about the North Grove. The North Grove. What of it? He said, the North Grove must never be lost. Oh no! The North Grove. Interesting. I didn't mean to actually reveal the secret. Whoops! <laughs> you have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to Who's this? Is this Ethan? I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. Oh, I no, do. it's not. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. <laughs> Garrett, you understand what this means. You Literally. Kill Bolton and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. Uh, they, they killed, killed my family. family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone Well, it's else the best time to use your head, isn't it? Well, it is attached to his shoulders. <laughs> Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much. Let's before. demand justice. They deserve to die. Um, family, they kill. Let's demand justice. So what's to be done? What? I pressed it. Ugh. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us... No, both very good guilty. points that they've but each now, made. <laughs> this. What? I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same. It wasn't murder. Might. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. What? You cannot stay, Duncan. The boy is so. Where would I go? But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. The wall. You're sending him to the wall. Yep. <laughs> the boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uh, Especially now. I'm not a criminal. The house is so vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. 
To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't, I won't put others at risk. risk. Let's say that then. Let's be noble about Go. it. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles Okay. It. Looks like we are going to the wall. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. Oh, we thank you very much. Time. Appreciate it. I'm <laughs> looking for you. Okay, looks like we're going to the wall then, guys. So this is going to be a good place to uh, end this episode then, guys. So if you've enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit well, that subscribe button as well. And uh, until the next video, join me next time on Game of Thrones, of course. And until next time, I'm going to say bye-bye for now, and I will see you all later.